at least fifty percent of the water must go into the ocean. If because of our uh, excessive population, if we can't let fifty percent, at least twenty to twenty-five percent must go. If fresh water doesn't go into the ocean, monsoons will not come into the subcontinent. This idea that river going into the ocean is a waste is a stupid idea. River has to flow into the ocean. At least fifty percent of the water must go into the ocean. If because of our uh, excessive population, if we can't let fifty percent, at least twenty to twenty-five percent must go. If fresh water doesn't go into the ocean, monsoons will not come into the subcontinent. It will avoid the subcontinent and go. This is… these are all well established. This is not some rocket science. These are simple factors in nature. If fresh water doesn't go there, one thing is the marine or the salt water will enter the… Uh, transfusion will happen into the land. In the Indian subcontinent, very easily up to hundred to hundred and thirty kilometers of uh, uh, substrata will allow marine water. Already it's happened in Chutikorin, at least fifty kilometers it's come inside. In Gujarat, every year they're lo losing about five hundred square kilometers of uh, land because marine water is slowly seeping in. As fresh water withdraws, marine water will flow in. So if this happens, let us say if hundred kilometers it comes inside all across, that'll take some time, but if it happens, you have seven thousand four hundred kilometers of uh, coastline. Hundred kilometers if it comes in, that many square kilometers of land you lost, this is approximately the same size of land that you gave us Pakistan at one time, the partition. So you're going to have another partition, all that population will try to move inland because it will not be habitable, nothing can grow there. So we are manufacturing a disaster. If we don't fix it now, it's very, very, uh, you know, what we leave for our children is going to be a terrible India. People are not taking up serious issues, they will fight for all kinds of uh, petty things, real things, to stand up, people hesitate. Now this Kaveri calling is a test for everybody. Let me see this uh, 1.4 billion people in the country. Let us see uh, how they will respond and what they will do. When we went for rally for rivers, they gave a tremendous response. 162 million people responded. No movement has ever gotten that kind of support in one month's time. But now it is action, that time it was only awareness, now it is action. So that's why it's called Kaveri calling action now. So let me see, even a laborer, I'm saying even a beggar, can uh, plant one tree, isn't it? Hello? Not possible. Even a beggar can plant one tree, forty-two rupees he can plant, right? Or he himself can plant, he need not give money. So let us see how everybody responds. This is… this shows our commitment. See, doing a… F putting chocolate uh, into our uh, children's mouth is not love affair. What kind of nation you leave for your children is your love for the future generation, isn't it? If you, if you have some concern for the next generation, the most important thing is you leave a rich soil. Without rich soil, where is a nation, I'm asking?